a couple of weeks ago I was cutting some rough grass and I got a stick inside the belt that goes from the engine to the middle wheel or middle axle and um, the belt it got a bit stretched and I can notice this when I try to lower the cutting deck um, because I can feel that it takes some time for the cutting deck to get up to speed. I also noticed that when I run into high grass the speed of the cutting deck is getting lower but the engine is still running the same uh, speed so that means that a belt or something is slipping and I'm guessing it is the belt that was damaged by that stick. The belt is underneath the engine and I have seen some people questioning uh, whether you need to remove the engine or how to change this. So today I will change the impossible belt on the Hughes Corner Rider with a belt that I just got. The belt I am talking about is this belt here. It is the lower belt that goes forward. This belt here goes back to the transmission, but this one it is tightened by this uh, tensioner wheel and it goes all the way up here to this intermediate pulley here and then we have another belt down here that goes to the cutting deck in front so let me show you when this belt uh, tension how it looks like as you can see here there's it's not that much tension on this belt now and uh, I think it stretched when I got that stick in there uh, the first step in changing this belt is to remove this uh, belt guard here and it goes like that and then it goes around to the other side of this uh, mover and this is a 17 millimeter nut here so here's how it looks like on the other side. This is a 17 millimeter and this is also 17. So you might need a open wrench 17 millimeter to hold this nut here while you screw on this nut there. And you can see it goes around there. don't have to remove this fully we can just yeah like set it over there something like that next step is to uh, remove this screw here on the intermediate wheel so this wheel here is in the like center of the mover this is the belt we want to change and this belt here goes forward to cutting deck you can actually see one of the blades over there and on this machine which is a little bit more professional there is a small brake pad here so this here is like a braking device and the most use gonna riders they don't have this uh, set up here they just have this uh, like a bracket here and you can just remove this but if you have this there's no problem you can just lift this up or you can just let this go down and then this um, spring here it, it attaches here and it attaches up here to this part here which goes to the lever that you lift the cutting deck with let me show you what happens here so the cutting deck is up now and the brake is on and if i lower the cutting deck you can see now the brake is now the brake is off the screw there is uh, a 13 millimeter screw oh. This axle up here is, um, it's not round, but it's supposed to be like, yeah, you see, you cannot, can't turn this fully.
The uh, front belt that goes to the cutting deck here, it is uh, always under tension with this spring here. And uh, it is that rear tensioner wheel that uh, turns the uh, cutting deck on and off. But in order to remove this belt from the intermediate uh, pulley, because this is the lower one and the one we want to change is the top one, we need to slacken this belt. Now this front belt is uh, slackened and we can just uh, put it down here on the ground. Mm -hmm. It was still a bit tight there uh, at the rear, so I'll, uh, I'll just uh, let it go from this pulley here so it will be a little bit easier. The lower belt is off, this time for the upper belt. And um, I have, uh, the, the cutting deck is, is in the lower position. So this is actually under tension here. And uh, when I let go or when I lift the cutting deck, this will be slackened. And this double pulley could actually fall down now because it's, uh, it's just a bearing here. And yeah. I'm gonna check those bearings. Maybe I need to replace them. Hmm. They're actually pretty good. The belt is uh, off in the front. And now we come to the impossible part, which is of course not impossible. And it is that there is a gap between the engine pulley there and that tensioner arm and that can be a little bit difficult to see and that is why people are really hesitant when they want to do this job so let's uh, see if we can get that belt out It is a bit tight under his knee here. Now we can uh, put this back. Just remember to put the nuts in there also. Uh.
Even now, before the test drive, we can see a big difference because that tensioner pulley, it doesn't uh, reach as far or doesn't go as far. So there is more more margin here. So and uh, yeah, you can you can definitely see it looks better like that. So. The belt is changed and I know it is tempting to just jump on your mover and move the lawn. Perhaps it is very, very high since you have been waiting for that belt. But before you do this, double check that everything is correct. Did you get all the nuts and screws in there? Is the belt on the right pulleys? And uh, perhaps you can, you know, turn the engine by hand, making sure everything is running the way it should. Maybe. Just run it on the starter a little bit and have a look. If everything looks okay, then do a test run, but beware of any smoke or heat or anything like that. That should not be. However, if the belt is all new, uh, it could have been stored like very kinked in that storage box. And it could mean that there will be some vibration. For example, this uh, tensioner wheel, it can move a little bit in the beginning. But once the belt has been uh, warm and you have been cutting for a while, it should clear itself out. But uh, uh, don't worry about it right in the beginning. I think it will be uh, okay after a while. But double check your work and once you feel satisfied, go out and uh, test your new cutting deck belt. Ugh! 